For over 50 years, his cinematic genius has thrilled audiences around the world. His films have inspired George Lucas, Steven Spielberg, Francis Coppola, Brian De Palma, and Martin Scorsese. As a director, he has won every major international film award. The Grand Prix in Venice and Cannes, the Silver Bear in Berlin, the Golden Award in Moscow, the Oscar in America. He is Akira Kurosawa. Akira Kurosawa has been the topic of many film essays, and rightfully so. His resume isn't one to scoff at when it comes to the art of filmmaking. Seven Samurai, Yojimbo, and The Hidden Fortress are some of Kurosawa's well-known films. For this video, I'll be talking about one of his films that was released much later into his career, called Dreams. Dreams is an anthology film released in 1990 with wildly unique premises. Eight segments make up the film and all of them are inspired by the actual dreams Kurosawa had in his sleep. One of the shorts titled, The Tunnel, is the specific segment I will be covering in today's video. Spoilers for the tunnel coming up. What I really like about the short is Kurosawa's ability to tell a lot without actually saying a lot. It opens up with a war commander walking down a long and dark tunnel. What can you tell about this man just by his facial expression and mannerisms? It's about a couple minutes of just setting the mood, which foreshadows the plot we learn about later. There is no dialogue till another character shows up, and that's when we learn more. Once the main character walks out of the tunnel, he eventually encounters a soldier from his platoon, Private Noguchi, who also comes out of the tunnel. He looks a bit different though. His face is shaded blue while his eyes have dark circles around them, resembling a skull. This is because Private Noguchi is dead, which is a fact he doesn't believe until the commander tells him so. The last act of the short involves the entire platoon the commander was in charge of, all of which have the same blue colored faces. We then find out that our main character is the reason why they have all been killed in the combat. This compelling scene is easily my favorite of the bunch in this anthology because of its solid writing and acting. The tunnel clocks in at just over 18 minutes, which is a bit long for a short, but as long as it's engaging, the audience won't mind. Now that we know the whole story, how do you perceive the main character's mannerisms in the beginning? This is a great way to give exposition, not just because it's subtle, but also because you save a lot of time in regards to setting things up. Try applying this to a short film that you are writing and directing. You have very little time to communicate everything you'd like to an audience when making a short, so every second counts. Now get out there and start filming. 